Okay, guys, uh, this one's uh, uh, part two, first derivative test with trigonometry, so it, this should be pretty fast. I have one example. You're just doing the same thing, but with trig. Okay, so if you haven't seen part one, see part one to see what I'm talking about, so I'm going to go kind of fast. Okay, so find the intervals in which the function is increasing, decreasing, uh, and then find the relative maximums and minimums of f of x equals one-half x minus sine x on the interval zero to two pi. All right, so take the derivative first. So the derivative of one half x is one half, and the derivative of sine is cosine. So it's one half x minus cosine. So now I set that equal to zero, and cosine of x is, uh, equals a half at pi over three and five pi over three in quadrants one and four. All right, so then set up a number line with the endpoints uh, and those criticals. These are my criticals right here, okay? And then I'm going to test a region over here. I'll test pi over four. I'll test a region in here. I like testing pi. Here I'll test 7 pi over 4, and I'm going to test it with my f prime, with this guy right here. Okay, so uh, at pi over 4, it's positive, so 1 minus, uh, and it's going to be root 2 over 2, is going to be uh, negative. Okay, so I'm going to test those intervals, and I'm going to get a negative, positive, negative when I do that. Okay, because cosine of uh, pi is negative 1, and 1 minus a negative 1 is 1 plus negative 1, so that's positive. Okay, here I'm going to get another negative right here. Uh, uh, cosine of power 4 and cosine of 7 power 4 are the same, root 2 over 2. Anyways, so um, that tells me that it's going, it's going down, and then it starts going back up at power 3, and then it starts going back down at 5 power 3, so there's a relative minimum here, there's a relative maximum here, and then I plug these values back up into the original right here, and I get uh, my relative min to be... Uh, this value and my relative max to be that value, and there's where it increases and decreases the intervals. I told you this would be a fast one, okay? So uh, if you're in my class, there's the homework and there's the answers to, to the evens, okay? Nice work, you guys.